good morning um the messages for today is to surrender unhealthy relationships now some of us aren't aware of what an unhealthy relationship is especially if you grow up in a toxic ass environment believing that the toxicity is normal like talking disrespectful constantly fighting and yelling even being physical or the cheating the lying the whole combination of shit that is an unhealthy relationship okay you need to walk away from that shit and even in personal relationships with like family or friends you know if you have a friend that talks shit about you behind your back or you have family members that sit there and disrespect you or talk shit about you or put you down those are all the forms of toxic relationships and you need to separate yourself from that you know and it's not that you don't ever have to speak to them again but you need to give yourself enough time to get yourself better and healed into a place where you can handle the toxicity of another person without it affecting you so temporarily you have to disconnect from those people so that you can heal um now they're saying that you need to go with the flow of what's happening in your life so again that's kind of the resistance that we put up with everything and sometimes we're not making progress or we feel like we're stuck and we're not moving anywhere and it happens because i feel like that a lot lately and i'm just like fuck me but understand that everything happens in divine timing everything happens as and when it should so as long as you believe that everything will continue to unfold as it's meant to and everything will work itself out so try to go with the flow of things even if it's hard um what i like to say is everything's working out as it's meant to you know everything's going to be okay or everything is always working out for me is like a mantra i'll repeat if i'm find myself getting in my head and not getting where i need to go so <clears throat> you have to step into the light you know i told all of us have gifts all of us are here to serve a purpose and sometimes it's just being kind to someone sometimes it's just saying oh hi how are you today and giving somebody a few minutes of your time because some people just need to know that somebody's there that cares and is willing to listen to them and genuinely be there and it's something that we don't get a lot of you know everybody walks around and everyone's so cold and just kind of into their own shit and i'm no better you know because there's times where i just don't want to deal with people because i take on other people's energies and i don't like it <laughs> i don't like it at all because i'm like why the fuck do i feel so horrible right now it's just fine so i like to stay to my own little bubble you know and it's bad and good you know i'm trying to protect my energy but at the same time i can't speak to other people if i'm constantly like this so you know don't be afraid to be nice to somebody help somebody out you know just anything we're here to help each other get through this life process and the sooner we realize that the easier things will be you know if we keep putting toxicity and negative and anger like all this bad energy into the world that's what we're gonna get out of it and we have kids you know that we're sending into this fucked up world i don't want to keep putting more negative out i want to put good so i always look at it you know if it was me what would i want somebody to do for me or if it was one of my family members what would i want somebody to do for them you know because there's a lot of shit that i've done that you know it was more for you know, i'm gonna help this person because if it was my situation i would like somebody to help me so just kind of look at it like that you know just don't be so selfish and so cold really try to look at it from another perspective and be like you know what i can just smile talk to somebody just it's simple shit. it doesn't have to be anything crazy you know just giving your time to a charity or volunteering somewhere you know those are all good deeds just try to be there and help people you know and again the you have to clear your energy which goes back to the toxic relationships um but also you know we talked about clutter yesterday but 
anything, anywhere that you spend your time at, like whether it's at work, in your car, in your house, wherever you go that you spend a lot of your time at, try to clear it out, try to declutter and get rid of all the things that have, that hold energy because it's just like draining you. So whatever it is, clear it, release it, um, sage, agua florida, um, I'm trying to think, I'm sorry it just got mad loud, but clearly nobody gives a fuck that I'm on here doing this. <laughs> um, try to just find um, things to clean, to clear your energy on um, Palo Santo. There's probably way more shit, but <laughs> you know, those are the ones that come to my head right now. You know, and do that, clean your house, like go through your whole house, sage that shit. You know, if you want, um, there's crystal gridding. You can grid your house to protect it. You know, there's various things that you can do to protect your energy in your home or your car or whatever the hell. But, you know, just clear your energy, release the toxicity, release the toxic relationships. And if, especially if it's something that's fucking, you know, you've been in in a long time and you're like, is this toxic? It's fucking toxic. Release that shit. You know, like I said, make a list, look at things for, this is healthy, this is what I want, and then look at how you're treated, okay? You have to really compare the two, and then remove yourself from the situations. But those are the messages for today, you know, kind of try to go with the flow with your life, and just be nice, you know? <laughs> be nice. You don't have to be mean. It don't cost you nothing to be nice to somebody or do something nice for someone. So... I hope you have an awesome day. Don't forget to shine bright and you know do the best you can. I love you. I'll talk to y'all later.